Hello Williams class. For your science lesson today, the learning objective is, can I learn our new key vocabulary words? By the end of this lesson, you will be introduced to the topic's key vocabulary words. You will learn and explore the definitions of each key vocabulary word, and you will write the definitions in your own words. So we'll begin by having a look at our knowledge organizer, just to get a picture of what this topic is all about. So here is our knowledge organizer for the water cycle. We've got our key vocabulary on the left hand side, which is what we are going to go through today. Now the key vocabulary words are water cycle, evaporation, condensation, temperature, water vapor, liquid, precipitation, gas, solid, and collection. Then you've got a diagram of the water cycle here showing you the process. You've got um, the four processes of the water cycle and you've got a picture just to give an example of what those words mean. So you've got condensation followed by precipitation, after that it's collection and then evaporation. Now what I want you to just have a look at is the pattern, or not necessarily the pattern, but the way in which the water cycle is going around. What do you think that means about the water cycle? Now by the end of this topic, you will be able to identify the part played by evaporation and condensation in the water cycle and associate the rate of evaporation with temperature. Now we are going to go through the key vocabulary for our new topic, the water cycle. Without knowing our key vocabulary, it would be very tricky to talk about our new topic. Our key vocabulary for this topic is what you've seen in the knowledge organizer. So it's water cycle, evaporation, condensation, temperature, water vapor, liquid, precipitation, gas, solid, and collection. Let us begin by defining these key words. The first one is, my turn, your turn, water cycle. Now, water cycle is the continuous movement of water within the earth and atmosphere. So when I say continuous, that means that it keeps going on and on and on. Evaporation. Evaporation is when liquid is heated and becomes a gas. Condensation. Condensation is when a gas cools down and becomes liquid. Temperature. Temperature is a degree of hotness or coldness that can be measured using a thermometer. Water vapour. Water vapour is when water is heated to the point where it becomes steam-like. Liquid. Liquid is the state that is in between a solid and a gas. Precipitation. Precipitation is the release of water from the sky. Gas. Gas is a state of matter that we can't see. Solid. Solid is an object that keeps its shape. Collection. Collection is when water gathers. And you've got a picture here that is showing you what collection of water might look like. Lakes, rivers and oceans are three examples. Your three challenges today. The first one is to make a list of the key vocabulary words. Now you can first do this by memory, so seeing how many words you can remember, and then you are more than welcome to look through the video again just to um, jog your memory of what the remaining key vocabulary words are. Your second challenge is to define the key vocabulary words using your own words. So I've given you my definitions of the key vocabulary words and now it's 
um, your turn to define the words, but you have to use your own words. You cannot use the definitions that I have given you, but you can use them to just help you, but try to use your own words. And the final challenge, challenge number three, is to create sentences using these key vocabulary words. So if I was to give you an example, um, collection. Collection is when water gathers. If I wanted to put collection in a sentence, I would say the River Thames is an example of where water gathers, also known as collection. That could be my sentence for it. So you have to create sentences using those key vocabulary words. Enjoy, stay safe boys and girls, and you will see me very soon in the next video. Bye!